Hello, and thank you for joining us as we review the right of election and call to continuing conversion orientation. My name is Marioli Galvan. I am the Chancellor and Director for Pastoral Ministries, and it is my pleasure to be able to walk with you as we prepare for this very special and momentous occasion in the life of our local church. So let us begin as together we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father of love and power, it is your will to establish everything in Christ and to draw us into his all-embracing love. Guide these chosen ones, strengthen them in their vocation, build them into the kingdom of your Son, and seal them with the spirit of your promise. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In today's presentation, you can expect to learn more about the event details of the celebrations we will have, and also the logistical preparation behind the celebrations, and of course, some tasks and assignments that you as an RCA coordinator or director will be preparing ahead of the celebrations that we are having the weekend of March 5th and 6th for the rights of election. So let us begin. For those that are participating in the Saturday right of election, we have that celebration in the Imperial Valley. And we're very grateful to Father Alex Aquino and the parish staff for hosting us. Uh, we will be joining uh, members of the Imperial Valley community and beyond at St. Anthony of Padua. And that'll once again take place on Saturday, March 5th, again at St. Anthony of Padua. And the other two celebrations we will have on Sunday, March 6th, will be taking place at Good Shepherd Catholic Church. And very grateful to Father Michael Pham and his staff for hosting us as well again this year. A quick overview, if you're not familiar with the facilities or the, the, the actual parish plan there at St. Anthony's, this is for the Imperial Valley celebration, the ceremony. If your parish is coming by bus, we are asking that the bus drop off and pick up be done on the South G Street side. So on the west side of the parish along South G Street, uh, that's where we are having the buses drop off and pick up parish groups. The other boxes you see here titled with parking are the designated areas where participants can park their vehicles and then proceed to the parish where they will be ushered to their seats. For those that are joining us in San Diego on Sunday at Good Shepherd, the bus drop off as it was similar to last year will be located at the front of Good Shepherd Catholic School. And then the, of course, the different parking areas that are designated on the map for those that are joining us. Um, depending on where your seating assignment is, you can proceed to an usher and the usher will guide you to the appropriate place. Ceremony schedule. So looking at all three celebrations, we have the first, as I mentioned, on Saturday, March 5th at 10 a.m. in the Imperial Valley, followed by the two celebrations on Sunday, March 6th at 1 and 3. There is a designated time for rehearsal for book bears. So we ask that book bears please arrive on time. And each of the book bears will also have a designated ticket. So make sure that when you pick up your packets, you check those packets and you make sure that the book bear has their ticket. They will likely be arriving before the parish group because of the need to be able to rehearse and be able to guide them through the process for the day. 30 minutes before the celebration is set to begin, the seating area will be opened for all parishes to proceed inside the venue. 10 minutes before we're set to begin, all parishes should be seated in their assigned seats, in their assigned areas, as we begin with a choral presentation. 
The choral presentation is more of a gathering to kind of prepare us for the moment that we will be celebrating. And we promptly will begin each celebration at the designated time. As we have in the past, we will continue to issue reservation cards. These reservation cards are not for us to collect. It is a little memento for those that are participating, but know that these reservation cards are required to gain entry into the venue. So please ensure that when you pick up your packets, you review that the reservation cards are all in your packet and you also distribute them before you arrive to the parish site or if you wanna designate a meeting place when you arrive on site and then distribute them there, that also works as well. All the details for the celebration that you've selected are, are also described within the reservation card for any reference and for all the participants, they will have all of the information contained within as you see here on the screen. A couple of reminders that we are still following health and safety measures and these include having various hand sanitizing stations available throughout the parish campus. This also applies to the outdoor settings. And also we are requiring that all attendees wear facial coverings, that they wear masks. If they arrive without one, one will be provided. So just please note to make sure that before you leave the camp, your, your parishes or your homes that you have facial coverings and you have uh, that already accounted for. A couple of additional considerations out of charity for others. We ask that if you've been in close contact with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19, have a pre-existing condition that classifies them as a high risk or are feeling ill or displaying symptoms that you please, please stay home. Uh, remember that um, there's always the opportunity to watch from home the live streaming. If in, in San Diego, we are having a live streaming option and I'll get to that in just a moment, but know that you can always watch from home if if that were to happen last minute. These slides will also be available on the website. So please know that these hyperlinks you see with embedded within the presentation are guidance on what it signifies to be close contact. And number two, guidance on when to stay home. So these might be some good reminders to share with your, with your parish groups. Regarding indoor seating, Imperial Valley, this is the outline of the parish from inside and once again all the pews are numbered from front to back in increasing order and so on your uh, in your parish packets you will have a diagram that designates the area that's been highlighted for your specific parish group so that you know where you will be seated in san diego very similar we will have sections and these sections will determine the general area where your parish group has been assigned. And again, as you see here, we have the pews numbered from uh, increasing order from front to back. And so when you receive your seating uh, assignments, you're going to be seated by section number and, um, and rows or pews in this case. For outdoor seating, this is only applicable in San Diego for the San Diego celebrations. There is an outdoor area that's designated for the outdoor seating, and that is section eight in this case. And section eight um, will be the one area closest to the parish office, and there will be seats available. So there's no need to bring your chairs. Chairs will be provided. There will be a large screen outside and canopies, but again, it's always uh, handy and very prudent to check the weather and make sure that you dress appropriately as well. Diving a little bit more specifically on the seating arrangements. Uh, again, we are not doing them individually because of the venue and of course we're, we're in pews, but we are designating them by the section as I des described before and also the pews numbers. But for those that are seated indoors, please know that we are estimating 10 people per pew. And that's in order to accommodate uh, the number of people who are planning to attend the celebrations. The cry room and the outdoor seating have been placed accordingly. So there are chairs that have been placed, placed accordingly in those specific areas. We ask that you please do not move the chairs because again, 
There are other celebrations that we're preparing for, so it would make it so much easier to leave the seating as it is uh, already when you arrive. Parishes that have described or have, in a sense, requested for special needs have been placed accordingly. So make sure that you check your seating arrangements and your seating assignments. And again, all seating details are detailed or described on the holder's reservation card. So all of that information is already present in the card of each individual. Book of the elect signing. So parish book bearers must check in and pick up their parish badge before entering the seating area. This more likely will be located in the foyer of both parishes, St. Anthony of Padua and also at Good Shepherd. So make sure that book bearers check in. They must have their ticket with them already. And they also must have a book of the elect. Now, again, as we've had in the past, please note that parish book bearers will be seated apart from their parish group. And you are required to have a book of the elect. We do not allow for binders or loose leaf pages. You need to have a book of the elect. If you do not have one, make sure that you contact our office and we will provide one for you. The cost is $40. And, um, and we'll make sure to have one set aside for your, for your parish. Uh, if you haven't yet assigned a designated book bearer, please do so. Uh, they are to represent your community as they present the book to the bishop. Now, you may ask, well, I have several pages. Which one does the bishop sign? Well, we only have time for one page. And so as we have in previous years, that's been the custom that if you have multiple pages, please select one and make sure that that one page has already been set aside. You have your separator there uh, to know that that's where you will open your book and have him sign. Regardless of however many pages you may have, Bishop McElroy will only be signing one page. The calling of the parishes will take place while the book uh, books are signed by the bishop. When he has concluded, he will return to the sanctuary, and then at that time, we will ask you book bearers to turn around to face the congregation, and then we'll also ask the catechumens and the candidates to stand. And so all of these prompts will be rehearsed with you and will also be announced during the celebration. Now, for those that are book bearers, please note these are the areas that are designated for the parish book bears. So the very end rows, rows 18 and 19 of both sections three and four have been designated for parish book bears to be seated and they will be seated in alphabetical order. So make sure that you arrive early so that you don't miss out on those details. Pictures. So again, this year we are not doing parish group pictures with the bishop. We will have a designated photographer that will be capturing images and parishes and just the moments within the celebration. And these pictures will be available a couple of days after the celebrations take place. And you can find them on our Facebook page and also on our Instagram page and as well as our website. So sdcatholic.org forward slash ROE and also facebook.com sddisciples and instagram.com forward slash OECMSD. So please feel free to share this information with your participants, especially since I'm sure you'll want to see the, the images that will be captured from these celebrations. As I mentioned before, the live streaming of the ceremonies will be available via sdcatholic.org and also sdcatholic.org forward slash ROE. Only the San Diego celebrations will be will have that capability to be live streamed via these two websites. So please note that there's anyone who is not able to attend, would like to follow the celebrations, please tell them that they could do so by following these links at the appropriate times as well. Just a couple of reminders. Uh, again, reinforcing that everyone must wear a face mask regardless of vaccination status. Uh, we are following the latest guidance on facial covering. So once again, these links will be clickable and able for you to follow up on uh, after the presentation. Attire, the question about well, what should I wear? Well, dress in your Sunday best. So we're asking those that are seated outside to please check the weather and also dress accordingly. 
Uh, we also ask that there be a respectful and reverent disposition. Please no eating or drinking except for water will be allowed. We also ask that you review these points with your, with your participants and remind them to silence their cell phones and electronic devices. And once again, to have their reservation cards ready to go the day of the celebration at their respective hour that they're going to be attending, they will not be collected. This is for them to keep. And also asking that all parishes arrive on time and be seated by the time we are to begin the choral presentation, which is 10 minutes before the celebration begins. I hope this is helpful for you. I thank you for all that you do in our local church. We look forward to welcoming you the weekends of March 5th and 6th. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our website, sdcatholic.org forward slash ROE. And please remember that the designated packet pickup date is February 15th from 10 to 11 and in the Valley on the 16th at 10 a.m. So please visit our website for more information and we look forward to seeing you all there. God bless you.